Alright, just, uh, yeah, whenever you're ready. Alright. Uh. So, run begins in three, two, one, go. Alright. So, we're gonna watch a cutscene for a few minutes. <laughs> Uh, so this is a Pokemon Rumble. It's for the WiiWare. It came out in 2009. Uh, it's a Gen 4 game, but uh, the mode that we're playing is the first one that you're only able to play, and it only has Gen 1 games, or Gen 1 Pokemon in it, so that's pretty lit. Um, basically, we're playing as the Pokemon instead of playing as trainers, and the Pokemon are just little toys that get wound up and then they start going crazy. Um, and the point is to, uh, just win in each rank, uh, each rank, there's four ranks, there's C, B, A, and S, and, uh, there's a battle royale in each rank, and you have to beat the battle royale. The only way to get to the battle royale is to get a certain power of Pokemon. Um, there's no leveling up or evolving in this game, it's just you kill Pokemon, and you may or may not get them, uh, and they have a random power. Uh, so, this category, um, when the game was newer, it came out with passwords, um, which were little codes that you can put into the game, and it would give you a special Pokemon. Uh, some of those Pokemon are pretty great. Uh, we're going to be using three of them, mainly going to be using two of them for most of it, but we have a third one just for backup. Uh, and using those Pokemon, we're going to be able to go through the uh, stages faster than normal. Uh, and the way I get them onto a new file is by saving them to my Wiimote. And, uh... When you save the Pokemon to your Wiimote, you can play them on a new file, but you have to go through the tutorial level first, which is what we're going to be doing right now. Uh, and they beat the Battle Royale with this Rattata, but this Rattata is kind of garbage. Its only power is 29, um, and it would just take too long. And even if you were to beat it, um, it would just do the same animation as if you lost. So. I was just gonna teach us how to generally play this game. It's a pretty simple game. Um, whenever I do a little tackle through the text box, it just helps me get a little bit further when I'm not supposed to be able to move. So whenever I like pick up Pikachu or something like that, it can give me more text boxes, but I tackle it. And uh, once we get to where I, where I can actually show you the password Pokemon, I'll go into why specifically those ones and what about them are so great. Right. So uh, I've been playing this game for about two years now. Uh, it wasn't very optimized back when I started playing it, and I kind of just re rerouted the whole thing, kind of dissected it and see, saw like what could be just a little bit faster, even if it was like a second, to see what would happen, like just for that instance. Um, we used to just instantly switch into Pikachu, but it's faster to actually stay into Rattata and switch into Pikachu at the last second. Um, and I just done it with every single category and uh, got it to where it is today. The cate this category is the most optimized um, the most optimized category and it's the fastest one that we have so yeah. So right here this Pikachu isn't the best power it can range from either 40 like 48 to 53 and I'm pretty sure this Pikachu is either 48 or 49. So the Pikachu can either do 67 damage or 5 to 6 damage, and this Pikachu was only, was only doing 5 to 6, so I had to do extra hits, which doesn't lose that much time, but just time loss that you can't really do much about. Uh, and that boss always drops, but we don't need him because 
I just was bad. So now that that's over, we're gonna go into our password Pokemon. So this is a, a shiny Speedy Rattata. Um, Speedy basically just uh, doubles the Pokemon's walking speed. Um, it's kind of like how natures are in normal Pokemon games. Um, it just gives the Pokemon something special about it. So there's, there's lots of kinds. There's Speedy, there's Steady, which is makes it so it doesn't get uh, affected by like statuses like paralysis and stuff. Um, there's healthy which makes it gain health and all that fun stuff. There's a bunch of them but speedy is the best one to use for speedruns for obvious reasons. So basically we're going to be going through the, whatever the fastest stages are depending on the boss at the end and depending on how fast the rooms are just in general. And um, this Tata is also very helpful because it has double edge, which is a very powerful move and has a lot of has a lot of hits to it. So it kills most bosses really quickly. Uh, and the reason I went to the Eternal Tower first is because the Marowak has a lot of defense. If I were to go to him after Charmeleon or after going to any other stage, it would take an, it saves time to just go there first because it only takes three hits. And going to where I'm at right now, the Fiery Furnace, it still takes two hits to kill the Tremulian. So back when I was talking about um, having a certain power for each rank, the power that we're going to need for, for rank C at least is 100. And you get that by... The more stages that you complete, the more likely it is you're going to find the power that you need. Um, so for rank C, we have to find 100. So usually around the time you get to the third stage or you complete the third stage, you're going to find the power that you need. So we complete three stages and then we go into the stage that has the best Pokemon that will most likely give us the power that we need. And we're just going to kill everything in sight until we get it. So. That was actually pretty good RNG, next to perfect. Um, so what we're gonna do now is, instead of like quitting out to the hub, we'll actually um, take all of our lives away. And th the reason that is because the game doesn't save the Pokemon that you collect if you, if you exit out, but it, it only saves it if you either completely die, uh, beat the whole stage, so we're just gonna kill ourselves off as soon as possible because we don't want to have to fight the boss because there's a boss at the end of each stage. Right, so this is Blastoise. There's nothing too special about this Blastoise except that it has Aqua Tail. Um, the reason we use this guy is because Aqua Tail does a pretty decent amount of damage and Blastoise is just a pretty decent Pokemon. Um, it also is really good backup for if Rattata were to die in any of the stages because as you can see it kind of somewhat catapults the Pokemon forward um, making it faster than just kind of walking around with any other normal Pokemon that I would have if I were to die with uh, Rattata. The reason that I don't use Blastoise over Rattata is because whenever you were to use this, if I had to, um, it's faster, but it also um, creates a lot of lag with the game because you're hitting a bunch of Pokemon that are in your way. So it's just faster to use a Pokemon that has faster walking speed. So this Battle Royale, we have three lives, and you can't switch out during one Pokemon's life. So once you go into the battle royale, you have to play with that Pokemon until that Pokemon dies, and then continue onwards with that. Um, if you die three times, then you have to redo the battle royale. But rank C is pretty easy and simple. You just kind of you can go pretty ham without dying. Um, another thing, in order to get the password Pokemon onto your remote, you have to get them to their max power. 
So, for instance, Rattata's max power is 388. Um, but as you see, it's only 199 right after I beat the Battle Royale. The reason it's at 199 right now is because they don't want you to just be able to put any Pokemon on your on your Wii Remote and start the game and be able to just uh, go into each Battle Royale because you have a Pokemon over that power. So they just put it at the number right below the power that you need. So for rank B, we need to find a 200 power, so it's going to put it at 199. And uh, we're going into the Windy Prairie, first time seeing this stage. We're going into here because um, most of the bosses in rank, uh, rank B are pretty weak in terms of defense. Um, so basically it comes down to uh, the, how fast the stage is, how fast going through the stage is. Um, the stage is just faster because the rooms are a lot shorter and there's less rooms than other the other uh, possibilities that we could have chosen. And I do a double edge right before the cutscene starts because if I were to not do that, it would just stop me and I want to be able to, again, get to Pidgeot as fast as I can, get ahead as fast as I can, so doing that just gives me a little bit closer to where I need to go. And as you can see, I'm able to skip a lot of the cutscenes I wasn't able to skip in the beginning of the run. <clears throat> so, um, the reason, if you saw it during menuing, uh, the reason I have a Shaman in my, on my Wiimote is because uh, Shaman has a move called Seed Flare, which, um, side note, you're not allowed to give any of the password Pokemon a new move or something like that. Um, you just have to kind of deal with what it has. So all, everything that this Rattata has is what it's had since you put in the password. Because um, it's not allowed to just add any move. Because if, if that was the case, then you could could uh, abuse that power pretty easily. Um, so the Shaman comes with Seed Flare, which is a slow move, but it does a lot of uh, does a lot of uh, attack power, and it also can lower defense, and it has a very large hitbox. So it's helpful in certain situations if Blastoise were to die. That's like basically the only reason I have him, just in case. So rank B is a lot different than all the other ranks in the fact that you can get you could technically get um, the power that you need in the third stage of any of the ranks um, but rank B is the most likely just because of the difference between rank A or rank C and rank B is only by a hundred um, when I say that I mean rank C you need a hundred rank B you need 200 it's only a hundred difference um, so it is a possibility that we could get 200 in this in this stage right here by either just a random Pokemon that we'd have happen to kill, or by uh, having the boss to drop, which the boss is Electabuzz. Um, if that happens, we don't have to enter a fourth stage, and that can save up to around 40 seconds, which is what happened in the current world record. I got um, this Electabuzz to drop, and it was 200. It didn't happen now which isn't too big of a deal. It's RNG whether a Pokemon drops or not, unless it's under cer certain circumstances, which I can show off um, if I see said instances. But um, instead of going into the Rocky Cave in rank B, we're actually going to go back into the Fiery Furnace. And the reason that is is because the Pokemon in Fiery Furnace in rank B are not good. <laughs> Um, they're just not powerful Pokemon. Rank B, uh, Fiery Furnace is the best Pokemon in it. Like, any of them could be the power and any of them would have decent moves. Um, we don't need to worry about the moves because we have the password to Pokemon, but they're still the best choices, so it's most likely that we'll get the power here than anywhere else. So, 
As you just saw there, Double Edge does recoil damage to uh, Rattata, which it doesn't exactly hinder me because I need to end up dying three times anyway. So I just kind of use Rattata up until either I get the power or until he dies. And then I just go into Blastoise to finish it. This isn't really good RNG because it's taken quite a bit. Hopefully we'll get it in a second. <laughs> Alright, so I don't know if you saw that, but that Electa or not Electa, uh, Electa bug, Electrode was kind of sparkling. It had little stars surrounding it. That means that it's always going to drop no matter what. Um, so if you're looking for a Pokemon to, to drop if you need one, that is uh, an option. So always go for those kinds of Pokemon. Uh, other things that drop always 100% are shiny Pokemon. Um, so if you see a shiny Pokemon, because there are shiny Pokemon in this game, whoops, uh, they will always drop 100% and they will always have a special trait to them. So yeah. So unlike the rank C Battle Royale, rank B is probably one of the more difficult ones, even though there's only four. Um, the reason I say it's more difficult is because um, there's a lot of Pokemon at the start in, to any of the Battle Royales, but there's a lot of them. Like, there's more uh, in rank B. And also, there's more bosses that you have to kill in rank B. In rank see there's only three but here there's four and you have to kill one of them in order to spawn the fourth one um and that fourth one does quite a lot of damage and can kill you in around two hits any of them could really kill you in a few hits if you're not careful just like that um yeah so that stinks but i could just go into shaman and shaman can finish this pretty soon So we killed Alakazam. Um, if you're, since I was using Blastoise, it's pretty easy to kill one of them because uh, Alakazam and Gengar don't have good defense, and Golem is weak to Water type moves. Um, so it's pretty easy to kill those guys off. Oh, that was scary. Okay. All right. So we're good. It's just, uh, you didn't get to really see it, but Machamp does a lot of damage, and it does multiple hits. It does, like, it can do up to, pr I think, four hits. Um, so it's a little scary to get hit by that guy. Ah. So, after the Battle Royale, um, after each Battle Royale, the password of Pokemon raise in their power. Um, so, like I said, Rattata's main max power is 388, um, and the power that we need to get in rank A is 400, so uh, Rattata's max power has already been hit, so now it's going to be a little bit more difficult to stay alive, and I have to play a little bit more cautious starting now, because Rattata isn't going to live as easier as it would um, in rank C or B, because Rattata just doesn't have good defense anyway, so now that it's weaker than a lot of the Pokemon that we're going to see, it's going to be more difficult and there's certain pokemon that i want to see more of and i want to see less of uh like meowth is a very annoying pokemon to see because it has fake out and it can stun me um tangela is a very annoying character to see uh basically the reason why they're some are worse than others because you see how they uh charge an attack and before they use it uh, some Pokemon, like Tangela, takes less time to charge their attack than others, and other moves just have a bigger hitbox and whatnot. And they also can charge their attack before I can even see them, so it can be kind of trolly. But we dealt with it pretty good, so. And again, we're going to go the same three stages um it is it does seem pretty repetitive but it's the fastest stages we want to get there as fast as possible 
There will be some changes in rank S though, because rank S is completely different to any of the other ranks in this game. Ooh, that was scary. All right. And uh, each room is not randomized. Um, the rooms are already set, so I know exactly where to go and how to go throughout the stage. It's just the, the thing that's random about it is what Pokemon is there and where they are standing and like if they use an attack or not or whatever. That's what's random about it. This category um, has one of the least amount of RNG dependent factors in it. Um, so right there, the reason I didn't move out of the way, because if I didn't move out of the way, I would have died. Um, or if he, I, if he used his attack, I would have died. But the reason I didn't move out of the way is because he started charging his attack late enough so that I knew I could use the last hit to kill him. Just using visual cues. That was kind of bad RNG. I want to try and avoid use, having to use an attack, but there's basically a wall of them, so I had to. Right. And going back to... Um, how I routed going to certain stages and what time. The way I routed it was um, depending on the Pokemon's defense is also a factor. So Gengar has really, really bad defense. So Gengar will basically die in two hits no matter what, uh, no matter like when I go to that stage. So I just go to him last because uh, he's gonna get hit. Oh, that's really good RNG. All right. <laughs> that was really good RNG. All right. So rank A, I was getting into it, is uh, one of the more difficult stages and it trolls you pretty hard. Um, just because none of the Pokemon in any of the stages are really that great. They're all kind of mediocre at best. Um, so getting the power can be pretty trolly. Um, but that was basically perfect RNG, so. And the reason uh, I have the little hearts next to Rattata and Blastoise is that it keeps them at the top. Um, if there were, like, like, Shaman's more powerful than both of them, so Shaman would technically be at the top, but since I have the hearts around them, it keeps them at the top. And it keeps Rattata at the top to ranks, which helps with So hitting the side, hitting like the the wall, I guess, it actually does damage to you. It can be helpful to like do more damage to other Pokemon, but you want to try and avoid getting hit by the wall. <laughs> it doesn't do that much damage, but it, it can kind of mess with you. It can hit, it hit you back into the stage, and it can hit you into another Pokemon's attack. And if it wasn't obvious, depending on how many Pokemon show up or whatnot. And it is RNG of what Pokemon show up, up um, kind of. There is, um, they basically have a stage that is in the rank. Um, and it just kind of randomizes which Pokemon and how many of that Pokemon show up 
in each si in each uh, cycle or whatnot. So, depending on that RNG, you can save her. That's not too big of a deal, unless it's just really bad RNG. And rank starters, fully evolved. So now we're going into the last rank. And we're actually going to start off in the Fiery Furnace. Um, the reason I'm starting here um, is because rank S, basically almost every Pokemon is going to kill Rattata in one hit. Um, especially all the Pokemon in uh, Fiery Furnace. Uh, so coming here makes it a little bit easier because the obviously the more saves you defeat the more powerful Pokemon are. Um, okay. Um, so coming here also lowers the defense of Moltres, which Moltres has quite a bit of defense, so that makes and it just makes it a. Um, if I were going for world record attempts, I would actually go here last because there'd be a possibility of of me um, getting the early drop that I could get that would save like a minute. But it'd be that like basically be what I would need to get world record at this point. So even though it doesn't really look like um, Rattata does that much, and I have to be cautious. It's still faster than switching into Blastoise, using Aqua Tail, and then switching back into Rattata. And I actually got the draw, which is pretty cool. So I just, you just want to stay with Rattata as long as possible. Alright, so this stage is probably somewhat more scary in the fact that Dodrio is very scary and Tangela's. The reason they're scary is because their attacks have very big hitboxes like that and um, they come out fast and they do a lot of damage. So yeah, the Pokemon, the basic, a lot of Pokemon in this stage, uh, Victory Bell, like the or an Electabuzz, um, Executor and Pidgeot. Firo isn't as scary as Dodrio, but he can be scary. That's why I waited a little bit. They really like to start charging their attack off screen before I see them, which can kill me. Yeah, all right, that's fine. Now I get to show you what I mean by the lag when using Blastoise. It's not too slow, but it's just the lag is what kills it. But we only got we got to the last room, so it's not too bad. We're gonna go back into Rattata because speed runs. And if you ever see me use reversal, which is Rattata's second move, it was a mistake. <laughs> it's very bad, very slow, <laughs> and just gross. Uh, okay, so I go here last because the Eternal Tower is just the shortest stage in every single rank. Um, most of the rooms are just go straight and get to the trampoline. Um, it's just each rank you get, you just get like an extra few rooms or whatnot. Um, so that's why I go here. Um, and all the bosses are usually pretty easily killable. Um, Z Zapdos is the boss here and he has the least amount of defense that uh, Moltres and Dragonite do.
The Pokemon in here are scary though. Um, Zapdos is scary and Needle Kings are scary, but it is very doable, as you just saw. So again, we're going to go back into the Fire Furnace. Uh, Rocky Cave in rank S um, doesn't really, it's not really that great. It ha it can have some good Pokemon in it, but Rock or Fire Furnace just, they're basically all really good except for like maybe Electrode. Electrode is like okay. Um, so that's why we go into here. So we need to get 600, I didn't specify that. Uh, rank S, we need to get 600, so that's what I'm looking for right now. You don't want to ever really waste too much time in each room. I'm just trying to... Like, normally I wouldn't even really do as much as I'm doing here. Because I still need to try and go past. <laughs> but I just want to play it a little safer. We don't seem to be really getting anything. Okay, that's a weird Pokemon for it to be the power, but all right. The evolutions are very rare <laughs> to get, so that was cool. All right, not really good RNG, but we got it first try, so. And since we have password of Pokemon, and was pretty obvious by at this point, but since we have password of Pokemon, we don't really care what Pokemon we get as the power, we just want a Pokemon to be the power, because we already have the Pokemon for fighting uh, taken care of. So similar to rank B, this um, Battle Royale has two, uh, four bosses in it. Um, the fourth boss is like the mysterious Pokemon that we've been seeing in all the little cutscenes before each rank. And I've been getting hit by a lot of things right now. So, uh, if you couldn't tell what that Pokemon is, I guess you'd find out soon, wouldn't you? Oh my. So I, I basically just kind of spam here and hope for a defense drop, because if I get a defense drop, it does like double, and it's great. Or double the damage it normally would. Ooh, that was almost bad. Oh. Should be good. There's a defense drop. All right, cool. So time comes up when uh, you see congratulations on the screen. I'll let you know when that happens. All right. And 
in time. Alright. <laughs> Sorry. I wasn't looking at the screen. Alright, so that's Pokemon Rumble. <laughs> Any percent passwords is the category. I mean, there's not there's not much else to really say. It's, the game is pretty great. Yeah. Um. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, I have put a lot of work into this game, a lot of time into this game, so I I hope it pays off. People enjoy it. Maybe consider picking it up. Or just playing the game in general. It's a fun game to play casually. Uh, yeah. Thanks for letting me in this marathon. Shoutouts to getting rejected, but then, like, not getting rejected. It's pretty great. I think it's pretty lit. It feels good with man in the chat. What was my time for that, by the way? Oh, okay. Uh, it's on Wii, and it's also on the Wii U. It's on the... Like, if you go on the Wii version of Wii U, uh, or like the Wii emulation of, on Wii U, or